Hey guys, Tyler 2K here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Kuma reveal trailer. Uh, I obviously just woke up and I already got it spoiled that something crazy happens in it, which is great to hear. Uh, I might as well give a kind of preface here that from the Dragunov trailer, the Shaheen trailer, we actually had seen moves that were not actually in the game or updated revised options. Uh, and even though supposedly the quote unquote final build that was shown off to creators uh, clearly is not the case. So um, I was talking to some people and right now the working theory essentially is that the final build that was shown to creators was the gold version that was shown off you know, supposedly in this like leak uh, circa, you know, July, August for Evo. Uh, so yeah, this, this latest build or whatever they're going to show us is clearly at least like three to four months into the future. Um, my guess is this is probably modern day. So we're going to see stuff on Akuma here um, that was not available in the final build. So yeah, we'll see, which is great because I, I don't want to spoil it for you if it hasn't been spoiled for you yet. But like I said, it did get spoiled for me. So. Hey, Akuma, we're in, I don't know if I want to call it like a gi or whatever. Showing uh, love to his old, I don't know if I want to call him a father. But this is clearly Kuma too. Okay, a four, three plus four. Okay, it looks like almost a guard breaker attack. So yeah, up back three plus four, wall stand one, uh, charge two. Uh, so it's not causing guard crush, but causing guard breaker into like a, a new style, like one plus two series. So Kuma, just like quite a lot of other characters like Ganryu, uh, was essentially a clone of Jack. So yeah, they, they switched it around the one plus two series. I know supposedly, or I haven't looked too much at the Kuma like move list, but like one plus two has been reworked. Okay, yeah, speaking of reworked, and let's go ahead and slow this down a little bit. So down back four, now causes, uh, no longer is a, the real hell, like bear sweep, is now more like a Lars down back four. So I know down back four on counter hit uh, is a counter launcher. So plus frame option that we see guard break. Oh, into HBS, instantly into HBS, where he performs HBS throw, forward on plus two. So that's good. And again, it's important to understand the difference between like a guard break and a guard crush. Uh, this is a guard break. So basically it's Mondo plus frames, but nothing's actually guaranteed. And then we see forward on plus two tracking sidestep there. A nice punish TP. Oh, into the yeah, new forward on plus two series. Into a while, a much quicker um, down forward 1 plus 2. I think down forward 1 plus 2 right now is like 27. That looks to be maybe about 22. So that's a nice improvement. Because down forward 1 plus 2 is, is better in like 4.0. But it's not that good. Okay, into the um, mid-series. I can't remember the input off for bear right now. But basically the twin piston or uh, debug 2-1 option. Okay, forward back 2. Okay, this is a little bit of a cop out. So back forward 2 is a... Natural hit launcher in seven, but I don't think it actually is a launcher in eight. So they're fun. It's like, oh, well, let's hide it by showing it into a wall splat. Okay, sure, dude. Okay, into Matterhorn. Being instant spin option and ending with a new back to uh, one series, clearly. Back to one, one plus two. Oh, sorry, that wasn't back to one, one plus two series. That's just back to one into one plus two. My bad. So rather than doing bear bump, like bear butt, down three plus four. Or, sorry, down 1 plus 2, it's just 1 plus 2 instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good intro. What a great intro. Okay, down back 2, HPS option, the lifter. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, now that you don't have to worry about it. Since you can bind the opponent back churn, the heat burst here is perfect, actually. That's a good idea. Okay, into new back 2-2 two, two series one with ending with the TGF. So now you can't really freely duck back to one, which is a mid high, because now he has a mid mid into TGF ender. Of course it's launch punishable, but um, now you can't duck it for free. So that's a huge change. Okay, then into the belly bump or butt check, whatever you want to call it, down three plus four, one plus two. Okay, yeah, this is, um, this looks like down back one, two, uh, but this is actually, I believe back one plus two, a new input for Uma, which is a heat engager. So I think it hits on 20. So down back one hits on 12. But this move is like, it's pretty slow, but it has a lot of range. Oh, wow. 
into the heat burst, which I don't know if this OTGs or not, or off the ground attack. For instance, uh, Kuma Rage Drive is an off the ground, aka if they're on the ground, it gives you a launch property. So this might actually have some OTGF properties to it. Sorry, OTG properties, but I don't know for a fact. We can watch in slow motion. Yeah, I mean, look at look how low the swipe is coming. So this is probably OTG, which is cool because, you know, even though bears were such a joke character, it's nice they have some type of like special utility that very few characters have. Okay, yeah, two one two with bear is minus fourteen, and one plus two I think doesn't hit on twelve. For bear, I think it's on thirteen if I remember correctly. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, so under heat. Oh, no. Electric. And it was like a guard break electric, so it's probably plus five. Electric. And it, okay, so let, let's back up here. Okay, we got to back up. So initially when they were designing and showing off P Kuma and Panda, the, the idea was that Kuma would be like Heihachi and Panda would be like Xiaoyu. The problem is when they showed off the final build, the characters were identical, completely identical. Nothing was different between them. And including, it's like, okay, we don't see the down back one, which we had seen with Xiaoyu, her big um, iron palm or iron lotus or whatever it's called. We didn't see that move. And then like Kuma, so the two of them were identical and Panda was missing all these Xiaoyu moves. So now that Kuma clearly has an electric that was not in the final build, this is huge. But yeah, notice we have the um, chip damage on Panda here. Also, normally when uh, Mishimas are in heat mode, the electrics are electrics, but notice how here... Oh, that, oh, maybe. It's hard to tell. Maybe this is always electric, but this doesn't look like an electric on the third hit. So clearly he doesn't have the heat mode buff that the other Mishimas do, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Okay, double option. Okay, and the 4-1 G-Clef, which is now a um, instant tornado spin, which is a bit... Uh, an important nerf because forward one on 10 for being a counter launcher. Hit confirmable is really good. <laughs> okay, into instant running one plus two. Okay, nice. New move. So down back one, charge two. So again, this is Uma's a 12 frame, but now he cancels it into the big overhead. Plus frame option. Okay, HBS down one plus two. There we go. So it's not a um, counter at launcher. Now it's a heat engager or heat dash. Hence, he heat dash cancels. Uh, HPS down 1 plus 2. Okay, wall stand 1, 2. Oh, tornado spin. Back to 1, 2 series. Okay, interesting. So down forward 1 plus 2 is still a counter at launcher. Like I said, it's faster now, which is great. So instead of it hitting again on like 27 or something, it probably hits on like 20. And into the rage art. Okay, so yeah, I mean, that makes me excited to see what differences panda will actually have because they really hyped up the character as you know being xiaoyu and being uh heihachi and we never saw that in the final build so now that we do have something like that uh that makes me really excited to see what panda actually does have like man panda having xiaoyu down back one's gonna be crazy so um yeah that'll be it later today will be the long form trailer or sorry the better version of this trailer um, breakdown so be sure to take a look out for that also we did draw the winner already so sh uh, shout out to christian r he's already been contacted um he's the one who won the uh, christmas day contest so if you didn't get a chance to enter uh, or didn't win um, i'm gonna hold one more contest uh probably for the final release date so i'll probably give away a copy of the game too when that when that happens in january 26th less than a month okay guys hope you have a great day later all